Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use music with your video in Adobe Premiere Pro as a background music, right? So here I have already opened a project. I will put a link in the description below. You can download the project and you can follow along with me. So to use this audio as a background music, I need to click and drag this here. Right. So you can see the music track is a little bit longer than my actual video file, right? I want to trim it. So you can use a remix file. Uh, if you go here and then you can select the remix tool and then you can click and drag this music track to have exact match with your video file just like that it will remix the video and you will not notice the cut that Premiere Pro has done I will not use that method I will use the old method which is trimming the audio track so I am selecting the razor tool from here and now if I click here it will have a trim here and now I can select the selection tool and delete the extra part and here you can see the music have started from this point i don't want this extra portion for that reason i'll just trim the beginning part of this music track just like that and i'll click and drag it here so now if i play it back yeah hey guys you can see the music track is little bit louder for my test i want to decrease the volume first i'll show you how you can do it manually using the old method which is this one if you Go here and then you can click control to have a point here click control and then you can click control to get another point and then you can click and drag this section to lower the volume of this portion right if you don't see this line you can just double click here to extend the audio track and now if i play it back hey guys this is james i am an so when i'm starting talking the volume is lowering right i will decrease the volume a little bit more maybe 25 dv hey guys this is james i am an indie filmmaker and content creator i've been and again here is a blank space right says so my goal is so here i want to increase the volume again to increase the volume again you can click control or comment then click here to have a point and again click here again and again now you can click and drag this section to increase the volume of this section and again if i play it back and different courses so my goal is to educate you about filmmaking you can extend this section that i have learned over the time here on this channel so let's get started and again you can blend it using a transition right click here then apply default transition and you can click and drag this transition just like that if i play it back now let's get started shall we so that is the basic way to use music on your video now i'm going to show you the exact procedure using a automated feature in adobe premiere pro so let's delete all this section okay so to enjoy the automated feature you need to enable essential sound panel in adobe premiere pro to enable essential sound panel you need to go to here which is window then click essential sound which is this one if you click here this panel will appear and now you need to tell adobe premiere pro what is this track is all about is that a music track is that a dialogue is that a sound effect so first i need to tag the dialogues right i'm selecting the first track which is my dialogue my talking part and now i can go to here which is essential sound panel and from here i need to tag it as a dialogue right i'm clicking here so now premiere pro know that this track is dialogue and now i need to tag the music track as a music right select the track and then click here which is music and now premiere pro know this is a music track sometimes you don't need to decrease the volume of your music track of different section of your video for that kind of scenario you can have a balance background music just like that if you go here which is essential sound panel and from this preset drop down you can select background music if you click here premiere pro will analyze the music track and it will lower the volume of your track accordingly if i play it back yeah. hey guys this is james i am an indie filmmaker so it has done a great job but i don't want to use this feature i want to use ducking feature which is when i'm not talking the music volume will increase and when i will start talking again the music volume will decrease 
to have it you need to select the track and then you need to go to essential sound panel if you don't see the panels properly then you can always go to window then you can go to workspace and from here you can select audio so now click the audio track and go here which is essential sound panel from here you need to enable docking which is this one click here then it will enable the docking but you need to tell premiere pro where you want to drag this music track you want to drag this against your dialogue or against the music or against the sound effect what is the ducking method so here i'm clicking dialogue so that premiere pro will drag the music against the dialogue right and from the sensitivity you can play with it uh, i'm just decreasing the sensitivity a little bit then i'm ducking the duck amount maybe 25 percent so the duck amount is what will be the lowest volume of the music track when you are talking right so i'm just uh, keeping it maybe 25 dv and fade duration i will decrease it a little bit and click here which is generate keyframe i'm clicking here then premiere pro will automatically make some point you can see it has made a point just like we have did in the manual procedure yeah hey guys this is james i am has decreased the volume here again it has decreased the volume here too. Oh, but this is not smooth to make it smooth you can increase the fade position which is this one you can increase this number maybe three and again click generate keyframes here you can see it has smoothened up again i will increase a little bit more okay now if i play it back different courses so my goal is to educate you you can see premiere pro automatically lower the volume of the music track accordingly with my dialogue so that is how you can use the ducking feature in adobe premiere pro and that is how you can use music track along with your voiceover in adobe premiere pro if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye